In this video, we will provide an overview of our Cinema 4D plugin and how it can be used for standard camera animation rendering. Our plugin is compatible with C4DR18 and later versions. Let's take a closer look at the test scene. As you can see, it is a fairly standard one that includes three cameras. Each camera is animated with the same render range, from 0 to 120. Now let's review some of the render settings. First, ensure that the resolution and render range are in line with your requirements. Move to the output settings and select the desired format. If you require multi-pass outputs, simply turn them on and move to the Redshift AOV setup. You can add as many AOVs as you need. In general, just configure the render settings in the same way as you would when rendering on your local machine. Once everything is set and ready to render, simply close the render settings window and save your scene. Now go to the extensions menu and select one of the render beamer options. The cost calculator option will take you to our online cost calculator tool, where you can get a rough estimated cost and time for your project. To continue the process, select render beamer, beam it up. This option will forward your scene to our Cinema 4D plugin. At first, the plugin will check the scene for possible errors and issues. If there are any, you will be informed through prompts. As you can see, we received an information prompt regarding multi-pass usage. Next, the plugin will check for MoGraph objects and caches. Our scene was already tested, so we're sure that MoGraph cache is not needed. However, we strongly suggest to cache animated MoGraph elements. If everything is fine with info prompts, just continue with the process. Once the plugin is done with the checking procedure, it will bring up the main UI. Plugin UI is displayed directly in RenderBeamers tab. Here you can configure basic render settings for farm rendering. As you can see, all three cameras are listed here, and the render range is already set to the same values as we set in the Cinema 4D render setup. For standard animations and cameras, rendering plugin setup is really straightforward. You can turn on and off cameras and select render range for each of them, or set range with global range option. Now, once everything is set and ready to go, just click the Send to Farm button. At this point, our Cinema 4D plugin will save the scene and prepare all data to upload with RenderBeamer. Depending on the project size and used assets, this process can take a while. At the end of the uploading process, RenderBeamer will bring up a job submission pop-up. Let's just use the green button. You will be redirected to our Web Manager website. Once we're in, you will see the main job window. Here you can recheck your render settings. Please keep in mind that this is the last step where you can change the resolution, output format, or change additional switches like multipass and strip before adding the scene to the render farm queue. At the top of the job window, you will see information about the current farm render queue. Next, there is important switch, test job. When it's on, scene will be automatically rendered with step value. In this case, it's step 20. After test, rendering can be resumed with full range. As you can see, most of the render properties from Cinema 4D render setup and our plugin panel are reflected here. If you scene contains takes, you can switch job mode from dedicated menu. Otherwise, just leave all the settings as they are and just use the Submit button. At this point, your scene will be added to the farm render queue. Now just wait for complete test results. Once it's done, go back to RenderBeamer and download the frames. RenderBeamer downloads all of valuable outputs, including multipass, buffers, and any additional scene render layers. Now let's check the test results. As you can see, all rendered AOVs are here as well. If you are happy with rendered test, just go back to Web Manager. Select Render Job and use Render Full Range function. Selected job will be resumed with same render range as test, but with step 1. That means all frames from 0 to 120 will be rendered. Next, just continue with second and third render job. Now, just wait for complete rendering and download rendered files. So, this is how final animation looks like. 
that's pretty much all when it comes to cinema 4D cameras and animation rendering on our render farm. Happy rendering at garagefarm.net.